What's up guys, this is Andre Kenshin here, and today we're going to be doing an update January 19th of the Brock Technology, another Tuesday update, and because of the, because the BC Weekend Grand Bay 2K12 with simulation, we did very very long long upload to the first uh, 10, not first BC upload of 11, not 10, especially because of the Mavericks Warriors got postponed due to the assistant coach death and a heart attack. So, don't need another BC weekend if you get an 11 upload causing the Marix Warriors getting postponed due to the heart attack for the assistant coach death. So here's the Rocket Dodge update. The update is January 19, 8.30am by Jordan Leonardi. Here's the bracket watch. He's staying the same as Purdue, top overall seed, first team out of New Mexico, and the last team in Kansas State. On the bubble. You saw Texas Tech, Nevada, Northwestern, and Nebraska. This is what happened with the last four buys. Last four in Cincinnati, South Carolina, South Carolina, Wake Forest, Kansas State. First four out New Mexico, Providence, Boise State, Indiana State. And the next four out Colorado, Miami, Gonzaga. Wow! Gonzaga are now in trouble in the NCAA tournament. The last time the Gonzaga did not make it to the NCAA tournament, according to selection show, it was the year in 1998, the latest missing the NCAA tournament. Back in it was the beginning, the longest guess Gonzaga tournament streak could be the end of a 24-year, 24 tournament appearance run, not excluding except in 2020. That happened canceled due to the COVID-19. And then finally, in Ohio State Buckeyes. You saw the many Midwest changes right there. You saw Villanova move down 8, as well as Rick Morris move down the first floor. High Point is in the new field. Clemson is moved up, move down the number 7. And Northwestern is moved up the number 10. Easy, so BYU is moved up the number 5. Nebraska is moved up, move down the number 11. Utah and Grand Canyon move, move up the 7 and 10. And Troy is moved up to 15. In the West, Houston is back up to number one seed. And again, because I get thumbnail, I didn't get enough Carolina download image because of the end of the update for two day bracketology. St. John's and Nevada is moved down 8 and 9. Alabama is moved up to number 4. North Texas is new field. Cincinnati is new field. South Carolina is moved down to first four. Seen Hall is moved up to 7 and still red hot team by the Pirates. And Denver is in the new field in the south. So Michigan State and Sanford is moved up to 8 and 12. While Texas, A Texas AM and Memphis is moved down to 9 and 5. Even Creighton, he did not move because they fell short to the Connecticut Huskies. So keeping the Google Sheet update. Keep in mind those Google Sheets update in the upload right here. So keep in mind when you saw what would just happen to keep Google Sheets until the final bracket that you update because it's gonna be have a BC weekend. Can hear the double header or if you don't let final bracket that you update because the selection show will came out. So so start things off uh, keep in mind we're gonna before I start picks, we're gonna make sure we're gonna have the next tomorrow we gotta have another BC the first seven uploads except for NBA TV there is not a rivalry so we got a NBA rivals week week in 2024 the upcoming schedule the upcoming schedule will be him have a first up upload first up seven uploads like the first ten uploads in the NBA 2K12 simulation so hopefully don't be a late late because we're gonna have the school works so first things up. In the Midwest, I have to Purdue beat NC Central or Lafayette, 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 Villanova take out Mississippi State, Oklahoma take out McNeese State, Marquette take out Drexel, Colorado State facing the winner of Red Force in Kansas State. I think Kansas State beat Red Force and Colorado State. Did Grandma here know? I'm going to keep scroll here because in too far for the table. Baylor and High Point. I think Baylor will win. Northwestern take out Tennessee and uh, Northwestern take out Crimson and Tennessee beats St. Peter's. Second round matchup. 
I have Boilermakers win over Villanova. Marquette take out Oklahoma. Rake Forest or Kansas State versus Baylor. I think Baylor Bears will win. Northwestern versus Tennessee. I have to go to Volunteers will win. Sweet 16. I have to go to Golden Eagles offset Purdue and Baylor win over the Tennessee. In the final spot of the Elite A, I have to go. Golden Eagles will move on to the final four. Move on in the East region. I have to go to Huskies win over Eastern Kentucky. TCU will take out over Ole Miss. BYU defeat Drake. Illinois defeat Akron. Florida Atlantic defeat Nebraska. Kentucky take out Vermont. Utah take out Grand Canyon and North Carolina take out Troy. Surprisingly, Grand Canyon is making a hot noise seat there. So sadly, right this soon. Round 2, we got UConn and TCU. I have to go to Huskies win. And I'm going to take out over BYU. Kentucky win over Florida Atlantic. And North Carolina win over Utah. Street 16 matchup, we have Yukon and NMI. I have to go the Huskies will win. Kentucky versus North Carolina, another, another tough matchup. The rematch of the 2017 Elite that have North Carolina win in Kentucky. So once again, I have to go to Tor Hills. In the final four in the last spot of the East, I have to go to Yukon will win over North Carolina. Next up in the West, we got Kansas versus the winner of Jacksonville State or Central Connecticut. I have to go to Jayhawks will win. It's Michigan State versus Texas A.M. which is I have to go Spartans. Memphis and Sanford. I'm gonna upset here as the Sanford beats Memphis. Creighton will pass over UC Irvine. San Diego State will take out pass over Princeton. Auburn take out Eastern Washington. Oregon will take out over Iowa State, and Wisconsin beats Sam Houston State. Even stop up your comments like that. We're going to try to even fault them several times. Second round of the South, we got Kansas defeat Michigan State. Creighton will pass over Sanford. I think they will have to go over the side as the Creighton will win. San Diego State will upset over Auburn. And then Oregon will offset over Wisconsin. Next up in the Sweet 16 in the South, I have to go to offset there as the Creighton beat Kansas and San Diego State beats Oregon. In the final four of the South on the line in the Elite 8 spot, Creighton and San Diego State rematch of the Elite 8 in the East. And this time, I'm going to take the revenge as the Blue Jays defeat San Diego State. I hope, hope early... Early, early afternoon, I can see her. I hope Creighton will win. We'll get the bounce back against Sinho. So don't believe I will walk up, show Creighton will win over Sinho or not. And finally, in the West region, we got Houston versus Western NMI. I have to go. Houston will win. Nevada pass over St. John. St. Mary's will upset over Dayton. Alabama will take out North Texas. Utah State will take out over either Cincinnati or South Carolina. Duke will pass over Oakland. Sean Hall will take out over Texas Tech. And Arizona will take out over Denver. Denver. <laughs> Denver. Second round, Houston versus Nevada. I have to go. Houston will win. Alabama will take out over St. Mary's. Duke will destroy Utah State. Sean Hall and Arizona is going to be a close matchup. And I will have to go. Arizona will move on to the Sweet 16. Sweet 16 in the West. Houston and Alabama. I have to go. Houston will win. And Duke will defeat over Arizona. And in the final spot of the West region. Duke versus Houston. I have to go. The Blue Devils will move on to the pass. That's Houston. So the final four matchers, we got the two number four seeds, and they have there's at least one seed right here. Marquette versus Duke, Yukon versus Creighton. This is a blue one second blue blocks. First spot in the final four, I have to go Duke Blue Devils will easily win over Marquette and Yukon will surpass will pass over Creighton Blue Jays in the national championship in Arizona. 
featured the rematch of the 1999 National Championship where UConn beat Duke in a close by one in overtime. Actually, it's not overtime, so sorry. So UConn went by one. So then this is in the National Championship. So I have to go to repeat it itself as the Huskies will win back-to-back -back champs. We're going to score of five points. So UConn Huskies win and Rocket Dodge update in January 20. So hope you guys join video tomorrow. We have a upcoming games for the second annual 2024 NBA Rivals Week. So this is Andre Kenshin. Say so long and see you tomorrow night. Good night.